Yeo is definitely one of the strongest character in the game. Still can't believe you can get him for free. Having a nonchalant voice with a cyborg arm that can provide big numbers with ease. Oh hell no! That you, um, you had, you, you, Trust me, there is nothing I could ask for. Hello guys, I'm Basic. Welcome to my channel. For today's topic, let's talk about Shangli Yao. War spares no one. As all of you know, Yao is a 5-star character that Kuro decided to give to all Wu players out there existing. Well, a big thank you to Kuro for doing that, because Yao is definitely someone you'll not regret investing for. For his basic attack, it consists of a 5 strings of attack that deals electro damage. For his resonance skill is a little bit tricky but it's really easy to understand. Yao have 4 different animation for his resonance skill. First, let's talk about in his normal mode. Resonance skill hit like a sword dealing electro damage, but after Yao fill up his forte gauge bar, casting your skill will put Yao in midair, and you can follow it up with your enhanced plunge attack. Next is the intuition mode. Casting skill will perform an uppercut-like animation that can be followed up by enhanced plunge attack gaining 5 performance capacity. After getting 5 performance capacity, skill will now be replaced with last form called Law of Rains, that deals a lot of damage, and consume one hypercube that we will talk about later. Yo Forte circuit mainly consists of a 2 gauge bar mode called Capacity, and Performance Capacity. You can gain capacity gauge bar by doing basic attack in your normal mode, and by casting you resonance liberation, Yao will enter intuition mode, and changes capacity bar to performance capacity that can hold up to 5 bars. You have two ways or combo to get performance capacity. In intuition mode, the first combo is 3 basic attack ending with a laser just like my boy Genos. That gives you 5 stacks of performance capacity bar. Second combo is casting skill, and plunge attack will also gain 5 stack of performance capacity bar. Reminder, these two combo need to hit an enemy in order to gain stacks. Why do you need 5 stacks of performance capacity? Because you can only cast this skill called Law of Reigns after gaining 5 stacks of performance capacity. Casting this skill will deal a massive damage and enter intuition mode. Look at this! Another one. <laughs> the big one. And also gains 3 hypercube. Consume 1 hypercube per cast of Law of Reigns which means you can cast Law of Reigns 3 times per intuition mode. For the combo, this one really works for me. After casting Resonance Liberation, second combo then Law of Reigns, first combo then Law of Reigns, second combo then Law of Reigns. For the skill level priority, Resonance Liberation, Forte Circuit or Resonance Skill, Basic Attack, and Outro Skill. And that is all for Yao's kit. Now, let's move on to his weapon choice. For the weapon, well obviously the best one in slot is his signature weapon, Verity's Handle. It is a really tailor-made weapon for him. Giving 48% resonance liberation damage and top of that, a crit rate substat, for my opinion, getting his weapon is a great boost of damage for him, and not to mention we get Shang Liao for free. Second best option is between of the surges, or stonard in the battle pass weapon. These two weapons are good depending on your build stats. For free to play options, you can pick either Hollow Mirage or Marcado. Void Thunder set or Lingering Tunes is your best option. Depending on the stats of your Echoes of which of these two you have a decent stats. For the Echo set cost is for 3, 3, 1, 1. Crit rate or crit damage for 4 cost, electro damage or attack percentage for 3 cost, 
and attack percentage for one cost. For stat priority, crit rate and crit damage, resonance liberation damage, resonance skill damage, attack percentage, and energy region. For the team comps, the best one for me is Yinlin and Verena. Yinlin is a great damage amplifier for Yao, and Verena of course the best healer and attack buffer of the game. If you don't have Yinlin, second best in slot is Jianchen for resonance liberation damage buff she can give. For free to play options, you can use Bai Shi as healer, and for the sub DPS support you can use either Yuanwu or Sanwa. Thank you for watching. I'll upload more Wuthering Waves content soon. So if you like this video, leave a like, comment and suggestions for my next video, and please don't forget to subscribe. This is non-basic. Peace out.